Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna use my original tarot deck today and check in on the messages, the energies, feels like what's happening and the message that wants to be delivered today is about paradigm shifting and leaving behind third dimension, moving into fifth dimension earth and you being the one to do this on your own and um, what that means for you, which is um, likely giving you some anxiety. I'm getting Eight of Swords as a primary energy here. So the energy is of anxiety and stress and feeling like mm, I'm getting helpless is another energy coming through. There's something where you know your wish fulfillment is Nine of Cups. You know what your destined purpose is and what you want to move towards. Uh, however, you feel very stuck and you don't know exactly how to move towards it. Eight of Swords. So a lot of Swords energy today. You also have the Four of Swords, which is waiting, contemplating, not doing anything, letting these energies sort of um, work on you. And Four of Pentacles, letting something go that no longer resonates with who you are and what you ultimately want. This is not your wish fulfillment. It's something you're stuck in. It's likely a karmic lesson that you're still stuck in. Uh, or this is a feeling like there's no way out. That's what I'm getting. There's a feeling like there's no way out, but there's a little slight bit of hope that things will work out for you. And that is what is keeping you going. So this energy is very intense. It's heavy. The 1111 portal is bringing all this to the surface. Your stability is being rocked. Your foundations are being um, shaken because we have to destroy the old paradigm. We have to destroy the paradigms, especially of um, for those of you in relationships. Codependency is a big one. Attachment is a big one. So we are dismantling ego attachments and feeling like you need another person to completely complete you. <laughs> I um, was actually really hearing Jerry Maguire earlier, you complete me, and how unhealthy that is. Because what I'm feeling is, for some of you who are in um, high vibrational soulmate twin flame connections, there's a feeling of the divine masculine energy that is still putting a 3D perspective somewhat onto this journey and we need to let go of the fact that we cannot make logical sense of these connections. This, uh, many of you who watch this channel are twins, so I will say that um, this type of connection is about you becoming fully whole in your own energy and your other divine counterpart being fully whole in their energy. And then you come together to create something larger that is uh, of the new paradigm. I'm feeling like one or both of you though has things that you're still working through that uh, you will just know when the energy shifts, likely with these eclipses that are coming, you will um, these things will shift out of your life where you feel more open in your energy to be able to let go of feeling any kind of 3D um, connection to this other person. And uh, let's just see what we get. All tied up. <laughs> 23, so change is coming. It's a five. And goddess of the moon, your intuition is becoming very loud and clear. I feel like a lot of you are getting very strong resonance with truth here. You're feeling what the truth is. There's a feeling in your physical body when you feel into what it is that you are visualizing, even though you cannot have it yet because you're being kept from it, you're all tied up. You know what it is because you feel it, you visualize it. That is what manifesting is about. I feel this very strongly. It's like the universe and your spirit guides, your team, your Pleiadian team, Arcturian team, they are very active around us at this time, giving you visions and downloads of what's to come in your life. And you are likely seeing yourself with your counterpart. You're seeing yourself on mission. You're seeing yourself um, living where you wanna live, living how you wanna live, having a, 
overflow of abundance in every way, not just financially, but abundant um, creative flow, abundant passion, abundant resources. And there's a feeling of happiness that wants to come in for you. Um, that is uh, likely why these are your current emotions because you feel it so strongly. You are psychically guided. Your, your guides, it's like you may be a little bit angry at your guides at this time if you're feminine because you feel it so strongly and it feels out of reach. It feels like you're waiting for someone else to let go of something else so that you can have it all. And in this waiting, there is a, a lesson to be learned, always a lesson. Let's ask the Starseed Oracle what the lesson is to be learned. It's Four of Swords. Um, because I do feel feminines are working very strongly, divine feminine energy, on becoming ascended psychic and intuitive master manifestors. So let's see what we get. The Seas of Mintaka. This is about the unconscious coming to the light. So you know that what it is that you feel very strongly is what is destined for you. And it's about trusting and knowing before it reaches the surface. There is an, um, a, a factor here that wants to be said about letting go of expectations of how your manifestations are going to come to you. Whether this is a person, whether this is a situation, a family, a move, um, a job, a, a purpose, something very divine. Um, but it feels like letting go of how that's going to come to you is, is what you're being asked to do because you have to just know and that be enough because that's, that is what we're actually building in the new earth, the new paradigm is being able to trust in the sixth sense knowledge that we're getting while also dismantling paradigms of codependency and paradigms of control of all things. Divine masculines are having to let go of control right now. Uh, it's, it's very difficult for them. It feels like there is a lack of trust in the spiritual journey where you know that spiritually there is no codependency. There's no ego. And that means that if you are putting something on the journey, if you're labeling it a certain way, a lot of divine masculines do not like the label of twin flame, for example, because it pigeonholes you into being a certain thing. And they like to remain mysterious and not be labeled. So we can call it something else if you want. We could call it sacred union. The point is that it's about letting go of labels, letting go of paradigms, and being a fully sovereign being. Um, let's just get Keepers of the Light and see who's guiding these energies. There's always a calm before the storm when you are um, prior to an eclipse. So you, your foundation, you've got two fours here. Fours are about your foundation and what you're building is um, you're building something out of your emotions. This is so much water here on this card. I'm really drawn into that, that what you're building, you're going to feel it and sense it before you see it. Uh, Radha, soul flame. So you're rediscovering a lost part of yourself. This is, a, it, this is on purpose. You can experience separation even when you are in a union state with your twin or um, if you are on your mission, you still have ebbs and flows in your business. You still have ebbs and flows in your um, spiritual activations. So however you want to resonate with this particular energy, it's about charity, having prayer, um, contemplation. So connecting to your guides and the astral and trusting them that these are natural integration periods for you to start to be a fully, much more um, developed spiritual being in these periods where it feels like you're in a lot of isolation and having some um, doubts. Okay, let's just ask what the doubts are about. I'm gonna pull a Priestess of the Light for you here. 
uh, relationship healing is another aspect of Radha that's coming in. Radha is about being in separation from your divine counterpart. And it feels like if that's very painful for you right now, I do a lot of Twin Flame readings for you who are in separation. Most people who watch Twin Flame readings on YouTube are in separation. So it's because in, at this stage, what we're doing is we're developing the sense of trust with the higher dimensions. And that's what we're bringing in. We're destroying the old paradigm to bring in the new paradigm. And we have to really know and feel what it feels like when we're getting downloads, when we're in another dimension, when we're having sixth sense um, activations. And if you were with another person, uh, it wouldn't be as clear for you necessarily um, until you're both ready. So courage, I want to leave you with courage, strength, and family. There is a sense of family coming in for a lot of you uh, because of the fours here. You're likely meant to start to build community, build family, and build from a sense of the new. So you have to fully feel what it feels like to be in the old. You may be in right in the midst of the breakup between you and a karmic situation. This could be a job or a person and or your divine counterpart is dealing with this. And it feels like this is what you're, you're being put to the test in order to ascend and rise even higher so that you can become the leader that you're meant to be and the highest, most ascended version of yourself in this lifetime because we did not come here to play small. I just saw this hostels energy. So some of you do feel like you are surrounded by some unhealthy energy that is meant to shake you so that you can really find your courage, find your self-worth. And um, it is causing you a lot of unrest, says here, conflict and unrest, which can likely be, um, you have to be very clearly see what you're leaving behind in order to feel into your wish fulfillment and know what it is that you're meant for. So these situations are not meant to stay in your life. They're really meant to be lessons. And all of this is, um, feels like where we are right before the full moon and eclipse is uh, basically exactly where I feel we, we should be. So um, if you can find some peace in that, knowing that everything's being shaken up in order to fall into place. So with that, I will check in again with a twin flame reading. And uh, if you would like a personal reading, please reach out. My links are below. And I'm sending you all much peace and light. Take care.